you need an ND filter. This is one of my favorite ND filters from KNF Concept. Discount code link below. And if you do buy it from me, thank you so very much. I had to reach out to them because I actually love their filters. This is a great professional start from KNF Concept. The packaging is super nice. It comes with a bag like this that you could put your ND filter in. Very professional instead of this cheap plastic thing that it normally comes with. The build is very tough. I don't know, it feels like titanium. I mean, it's got such a high quality finish to it. The metal, you could tell this is just cheap plastic like aluminum. You're getting what you pay for. It has this little cool knob that makes it brighter and darker. Now, the reason why you need an ND filter is because when you are shooting film and if your FPS is at 60, your shutter has to be at 120. If you are shooting FPS 24, then your shutter has to be at 24 times two, always times two. 24 has to be 50. If it's 30 FPS, it has to be 60. Now, quick tip, even though I shoot at 24 FPS, I changed my shutter to 60 instead of 50 because I noticed that in a lot of this weird cheap lighting, when you're in a ballroom or in a location, there's a lot of light that flickers and you will see it. You see it in, in like a lot of the uh, YouTube videos where they're filming car headlights, right? You see it like flickering like crazy, right? And that's because your shutter, the shutter of that camera is at a super high rate. Maybe it's at 200, 300, even a thousand. And when that happens, that light causes that weird flickering effect. And to get rid of it, you have to use an ND filter so that way your shutter is at 60 FPS. That usually gets rid of 99% of the flickering light. So that's like a perfect shutter for me. Now, when you have your lens aperture at 2.8, because you want the blurry background, the bokeh, and your shutter is at 60 because you're at 24 FPS, minimum of shooting ISO is 800. That combined with your 60 FPS and f2.8, super bright. And that's when the ND filter is crucial and is needed. You use this, stick it in there, and then you dial. You spin the dial on the top over here. You're, I love this dial. That's so cool instead of touching the side. And you spin the dial until you look at your waveform and it's most of it is above average. So instead of being right in the middle, it's a little bit above. Keep in mind, you don't want it to be clipping to the brightness. You want it just on above the average. And that's when this comes in handy. And that's what makes it fun too. You keep your setting, your aperture, your shutter, ISO uh, setting the way it is. And now it's, you just have to turn this every time you need to change your exposure when you're facing the sun, when you're inside, and you just do that. And that's it. It's a quick, quick change for your uh, setting. Always keeping an eye on your waveform that it's a little bit brighter. There's just no way you can shoot properly without the ND filter. Discount code link below. Thank you if you do buy from me. Uh, just a quick mention, I do sell photography, videography t-shirt in my link. If you do support me in any way by buying any of the t-shirts, I appreciate you so much for that. It fits nicely, so thank you for your support. And also, go to cameratofreedom.com. Hook me up with your email address. I'm trying my best to create tutorials. I've been shooting for like 25 years plus. God, I'm getting old. But now it's time for me to just share everything I know and just kind of help whoever I can. All right, guys, leave a comment. Hook me up with a comment. And uh, I will see you next time.